You know, so many amazing stories coming out of this event every year. University of Maryland School of Medicine held its annual Match Day ceremony today. And ABC 2's Lamont Williams was there and brings the story of how one student turned rejection to reward. <laughs> At the Hippodrome Theater today, and you didn't know better, you would have mistaken it for a music festival. The reason for all the celebrating is match day for the graduating students of the University of Maryland School of Medicine. Each student selected their own personal song when their name was called to see where they would be spending their residency. Graduate Keith King talks about how tough med school it's, it's is. It's very intense. Some of the first two years are very intense in studying. And in your clinical years, you're very busy uh, with your rotations during the hospital. And as if that wasn't hard enough, Keith was raised in a Brita Hope in Pennsylvania, a religious commune where your goals in life are determined by others. I did not have the opportunity to pursue medicine in this community. And it ended up actually, I had to leave it. Um, I was actually given about 12 hours to leave and ended up with about, at 18 years old, with about $50 in my pocket and had to kind of restart my whole life. But um, one of the main reasons I did it was to be able to pursue my dreams and become a doctor and become a surgeon. Chasing his dreams meant losing his family and friends. But when his name was called, his new family celebrated. That's his wife, Melissa, carrying their new addition. My husband is very hardworking and dedicated, and that's one thing I can say that he will, I mean, he will rise to the challenge no matter what it is. He's going to do very well. Here in Maryland! The more of these graduate stories. You never give up. Um, if you really want to do something, if you truly believe that this is your calling in life, then I think it's important that you stay true to, to that belief in those, that dream. And Keith King's song of choice, remember the name. Yeah. In Baltimore, I'm Lamont Williams, ABC2 News. Bridge to live by. 164 graduating students are going to be at various hospitals around the world. And Dr. King will be at Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson School in New Jersey. Congrats.